Hey, what's up, guys? Big Ball Daddy with you on a uh, cloudy Thursday afternoon here in East Tennessee. I've debated all day whether or not I wanted to do a video about this, but I've decided to do a video. So I'm sure everyone's heard by now. Jansen Jackson, New Keith Richardson, and Mike Edwards went into the pilot about 2 o'clock a.m. last night with a friggin' unloaded pellet gun and tried to rob some dudes in a Hyundai. First of all, what the hell were you guys thinking, okay? Come on, the dude drives a freaking Hyundai. What'd you think you were gonna get? Okay, second of all, Mike Edwards, you're a dad. What the hell? You know, you're a freaking father. Got your whole life ahead of you. You know, why would you do this shit? Now, I've done some stupid shit in my life. I have, I really have. I think we all have. But guys, come on, man. And, and I don't know which one of you was wearing the UT shirt or hoodie or whatever the hell it was you were wearing. Dude, man, come on. It's the most lit up parking lot on Cumberland Avenue. What the hell were you guys thinking? You know, and this comes like 12 hours after Lane Kiffin, you know, talked about no arrest, you know. And I was kind of proud of that too, you know. There was a lot of that shit going on under Fulmer. And I know Lane Kiffin can't control what his boys does. You know, if they choose to break curfew and go out and do, do stupid shit and break the law, you know, that there's not a whole lot he can do about that. But what pisses me off about all of this is the hard work that team has put in this year, you know, to better, to get better each week, improve on their game every week, and you guys go out and do some stupid shit like this. Now, it doesn't really surprise me that Newkeys did this because, you know, it's been looking more and more lately like he's not a team player anyway, whining about playing time, you know. Uh, I don't know. I just wonder what goes on in the heads of kids these days. But this just makes no sense to me. You know, it's like I said to one of my friends on here earlier. If you guys needed money, why didn't you go to one of those, you, you know, why didn't you just go to a rich booster? Get the old hundred dollar handshake, as they used to call it. You know, everybody does it. Every athlete, every booster's involved in that crap. You know, there was absolutely no reason, no good reason, whatsoever, for you guys to go to a friggin' convenience store at two in the morning when you should have had your asses in bed anyway. You know, big biggest game of the year coming up this weekend for Tennessee, and you guys decide to go pull a boneheaded move like this. I just thought of something else too, you know, there's probably going to be some people out there, they may not make the comment on this video, they may not make a comment on any video, but they may be sitting there saying to themselves, well, you know, those guys had a terrible upbringing, they were brought up in rough neighborhoods, blah, 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 yada, 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 well, you know what, I don't want to hear that shit because it's a bunch of, I say it again, it's a bunch of, don't give me that shit about where you were brought up and the atmosphere and the environment you were brought up in. That's a crock of shit. There's plenty of kids brought up in rough neighborhoods that have done well for themselves. You're grown-ass men responsible for your own actions. Act like you've been there before, boys. All right? Don't blame this shit on no one else. Don't blame it up. Don't blame it on your upbringing. Don't blame it on your neighborhood. Don't blame it on this. Don't blame it on that. Just man up and say, hey, I fucked up. You know, incidentally, the, the line shot almost immediately to double from three to six in this game after this because Jansen Jackson, you know, that's a big loss for Tennessee. Big loss for Tennessee this weekend. New Keith Richardson, nah, meh. You know, I could care less. Well, he, he's been nothing but a big whiner the last few weeks. You know, I mean, at the beginning of the year, he was Mr. Fumble. He couldn't hang on to the ball, you know, so I'm not so upset about that. I'm upset the fact that the guy's potentially screwed his future. You know, that bothers me because I hate to see kids screw up their futures when they have so much in front of them. And, uh, you know, Herschel Talker did a video earlier about the stupid crimes that these kids are committing. You know, you had the kid Vince Vance at Georgia that was driving on a permit or whatever. You know, that, that yeah, that's stupid. But that's something that he can easily overcome. You know, he's going to get laughed at and maybe ridiculed. But this, these are felonies, guys. This is serious shit, you know. This is not stealing a lollipop from your roommate. This is armed friggin' robbery. What the hell were you guys thinking? 
You guys can say I'm crazy, you can say I'm wrong, you can say whatever, but it, that's the facts, okay? I had a terrible upbringing myself, okay? I grew up in some pretty shitty conditions. And, you know, I, I didn't go out and pull friggin' guns on people. You know, the only time I ever pulled a gun on anybody in my life was the two times I pulled it on myself when I'd had enough and was ready to end it. You know, thank God I overcame that and, and got through it all. But, uh, man, it just it just frustrates me to no end. You know, I know the jokes are going to come. That's fine. That, that shit don't bother me. You know, the jokes are going to come about thugs and UT this and UT that. And, you know, that, that's all well and good. That's natural. That's to be expected. My problem is the future these guys are screwing up for themselves and what they've done to their teammates. Kiffin and his staff have done a great job this year at getting this team motivated and focused. But no matter how good you are, it's going to be tough, man. Those kids are going to be down there this weekend thinking about their friends. Hopefully, hopefully they can they can focus for three hours on the game, you know, and worry about their friends after the game's over. But if you know, if you're a human and you have any heart at all, you worry about your friends when they do stupid shit like this. So, my heart goes out to the to the you know to the friends and family of these guys that are suffering right now, especially the Edwards guy with the you know with, got the kid, and um, you know if I'm Lane Kiffin, these guys are gone. You know I I know the the right thing to do is to wait and see what happens you know it, it's all speculation and accusation now but the bottom line is they were arrested for attempted armed robbery i personally see no instance whatsoever that justifies any of those three playing for tennessee again ever that's just my opinion you guys tell me your opinion all right at least jansen jackson's dad's uh assistant coach up at Miami of Ohio you know he's got a place to go maybe that's where he needs to be maybe he needs to be up there with his dad guys let me know what you think I'm big Vol daddy go Vols go Cardinals have a good one everybody